Fairfax County is leading by example when it comes to helping inmates overcome substance abuse disorders. Tonight, a group of congressional lawmakers toured the Fairfax County Adult Detention Center to learn more about a successful recovery program that is changing lives. News 4's Mauricio Casillas got an inside look today at the work that's being done to rehabilitate those dealing with addiction behind bars. Not go back to what we were doing. Inside these jail walls, there's a deep bond that's been built among inmates, a connection that's strengthened by an all too familiar struggle, addiction. But they lean on one another and share their feelings about how they can overcome it. From early childhood, I've been addicted to substances and alcohol, and um, like I say, I've always tried to tackle it on my own, and um, it's been Landing me in and out of jail. Addressing the trauma and pain that led to their addictions is a critical step. The inmates know they can't take back their decisions that ultimately landed them in here. They also know that recovery gives them a second chance. Everything that I've been through, everything that led me to the point that I'm at right now, is going to help me realize that no, I can't go back. It's only full. It's only full from here. Lawmakers from across the country got to tour the jail and learn more about the Striving to Achieve Recovery, or STAR program. Being in a positive environment with the men here. Uh, the program is voluntary. Inmates apply to be accepted, and the discussions and lessons are led by their peers. It helps build a foundation they can lean on once they're released. The sort of recovery work that's occurring here, lowering rates of recidivism and helping people get the help they need, it's, it's an extraordinary example. Participants take part in three different phases. Each one of those phases is 18 weeks. So far, since the program started in 2018, there's been 71 graduates. It, it taught me that I ain't got to live like that no more. And it's, a, it's a challenge for the rest of my life, but if I can do this, anybody can. And the hope is by sharing their story, new programs like this one will pop up nationwide and help others in need. In Fairfax County, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.